Color grading can be influenced by our environment. Bright walls or strong background colors can unintentionally affect how you grade. In an ideal setup, you would paint your walls a neutral gray and use a dedicated reference monitor. But that's not always feasible. Runher explains that our eyes adapt quickly to their surroundings. Having an 18% gray wall behind your monitor provides a neutral background. If you don't have a gray wall, you can shrink your footage and place it against a neutral backdrop to spot and correct color issues more easily. Runha demonstrates this technique in his video, which you can find in the description. I've created a custom detail that automatically scales your footage and adds a border, all within the color page. Here's how it works. Image scale shrinks your video image so you can see the surrounding border. Border and fill settings, these sliders allow you how much space you add on the left, right or all around the image. You can choose black, gray, white or any RGB color you want. When you place a shrunken image on a solid black or gray background, your eyes compare the image darkest areas to that background. If your video's black is actually dark gray or milky black, it will stand out clearly against the black reference. If you are matching multiple shots or scenes, Stacking them next to or above a standard reference black or gray background helps ensure all shots have the same shadow depth. This is especially useful if some clips have elevated black levels that don't match the others. If you are aiming for a film look with intentionally lifted blacks, placing the footage next to a neutral background helps you confirm the exact lift you want. It also makes it easier to see if you're remaining consistent from shot to shot. For very bright scenes, such as snow scenes, bright set designs or any clean white look, you might want to set the background color to pure white or very bright white instead of dark gray. This lets you compare the brightest parts of your image against the true white reference, helping you spot subtle color casts or exposure issues more easily. If multiple shots must match a certain brightness, like several snow scenes or modern white wall interiors, a white or near white background gives you a consistent reference point for perfecting highlights and white balance. In this example, I might choose to set the white background to a custom RGB value that has a slightly warmer tone, as part of my decision to create a warmer overall look. Matching the border color to a similar tone can help maintain consistency across shots, ensuring a cohesive visual style. You can download the detail from my website, it's completely free. Have fun with it and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Have a great day and see you next time.